The Lion Mountain Elementary School held their fifth annual science camp on Friday. Um, well, we have 73 students, Lion Mountain Elementary students here, and they are solving the crime of who broke a teacher's cookie jar. We're learning about forensic scientists and stuff to see who stole the cookies. There was some evidence left behind, and that was the, the cookie. What are we going to find on that cookie? Oh, yeah. the bite mark. The bite mark. So a bite mark is, in fact, impression evidence. There's four suspects. We have real uh, older students that are standing in for the suspects. And certain tests they do, um, like handwriting sample, it points to, say, suspect four. But then uh, the DNA testing is pointing to suspect three. I think it's suspect four, kind of. I think it's suspect three. So we're going to give you another substance to add to your trays and you're going to start to see if there's a reaction. If there's a reaction, then we will see if the um, blood starts to clot or clump together. Okay, we'll know if that um, antigen is present. If that so you have to do all these tests. There's hair samples, there's pollen samples, blood typing, DNA, chromatography, uh, bite marks, fingerprinting, and then we have witness statements. Suspect 4 has all the clues that we got and she all uh, like everything about her matches them kind of and then it all they have to also kind of look at what the circumstantial evidence is versus unique evidence and then figure out based on the witness statements who actually did it 